shotgun blast through the front door of the Plimpton home, as well as through a window. Casings littered across the yard, suggesting as many as 20 shots were fired as the victims cowered inside. And Lincoln Avenue neighbours almost as frightened. I opened the blind and looked down and I could just see the, you know, like orange sparks. I suddenly woke up and heard half a dozen shots, you know, bang, bang, bang. I thought, what the hell is going on? Police received a panicked triple zero call from inside the house just before 12.30 this morning, followed by more calls from locals. By the time patrols arrived, the shooter was gone. I always thought this was a good area, so but I guess anything like this can happen anywhere. Within hours, investigators had arrested and were questioning a woman as crime scene officers pieced together the shooter's movements. It's believed a couple and their adult daughter live at the house, but they didn't want to speak publicly about their ordeal. Neighbours say they don't have much to do with the victims. Do you know the people that live in that street? Huh? No, I don't. No, I don't. It doesn't matter what street it's in Adelaide, it's, it's going to be a shock if there's gunfire around. This was the second suburban shooting within 24 hours. Yesterday morning, a gunman pushed open the front door on a Salisbury home and opened fire. Fortunately, no one was injured in either shooting. Hannah Dawkins, Nine News.